Hello students, under the topic Euler's equation, here we have the next problem, problem number 7. Kindly follow the previous lectures for, for problems 1 to 6. Okay, so find all the solutions of the Euler's equation x squared y double dash plus x y dash minus 4 y is equal to x for x greater than 0. Uh, so now here if we see, this is a non-homogeneous Euler's equation because the right hand side is x. So for, for this the solution will be of the form xi of x is equal to phi of x plus xi p of x where phi of x is the solution of the homogeneous equation given by x squared y double dash plus x y dash minus 4 y equal to 0 and xi p of x is the particular integral for l of y equal to x. So now first of all we shall find phi of x for which we should write the initial polynomial q of r is equal to 0. So what will be q of r? While comparing this equation with the Euler's equation, we will be getting the value of a to be equal to 1 and the value of b is equal to negative 4. So using that in the initial polynomial, we get r into r minus 1 plus a r. So 1 r which is r uh, plus uh, b. Uh, so it will be negative 4 is equal to 0. So we get r square minus r plus r minus 4 is equal to 0. So now from here we see that these two gets cancelled and we have r square minus 4 equals 0 and we get the value of r to be equal to plus or minus 2 because r square is equal to 4. So r will be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 which is r equal to plus or minus 2. So we have obtained the value of r. Now we, the, we, we observe that r1 is not equal to r2 because it is plus 2 and minus 2, two different roots. So when the roots are distinct, we have the solution phi of x to be equal to c1 x to the power r, so 2, r1, plus c2 x to the power r2, which is negative 2. So this is the solution phi of x. Next, we have to find the particular solution for l of y equal to x. So in order to find the particular integral for l of y equal to x, we have to compare this with l of y equal to x power k. And we observe that the value of k is equal to 1. So we have to check whether this 1 is a root of this equation. No, because the roots of this equation are plus 2 and minus 2. So k is not a root. So now we have to use this method that is uh, when k is not a root of the initial polynomial, then the particular integral is given by this. So let me take and write this. So the particular integral will be equal to xi p of x which is equal to x to the power k divided by q of k. If you observe my previous video, if you watch that, you will understand better about these cases where I have explained about these case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4 in, in, in the previous video. So kindly follow that video to understand this concept better. So the value of k is equal to 1 and we see that k is not a root and so the particular integral is given by xi p of x equal to x bar k divided by q of k. So therefore xi p of x will be equal to x bar k is x that is k equal to 1 so x divided by q of k. Now what is q of r? q of r is equal to r square minus 4 so that we have to write q of r is equal to r square minus 4. We have to find q of k. The value of k is 1. So we have to find q of 1 which is equal to 1 square is 1 minus 4 and so that will be equal to negative 3. So this negative 3 we have to substitute here and we get xi p of x is equal to x by negative 3. So therefore the particular integral xi p of x is equal to negative x by 3. And now we shall substitute this and phi of x to find the general solution. So the general solution xi of x will be equal to phi of x plus xi p of x which is phi of x is phi 1 x squared plus I mean c1 x squared plus c2 x to the power minus 2 and then xi p of x is negative x by 3. And uh, to rewrite this further we get xi of x to be equal to c1 x squared plus c2 divided by the x, this x to the power minus 2 can be taken to the denominator and can be written as x square minus x by 3 for x greater than 0 and where c1 and c2 are 
constants. So hope you have understood this problem. We will solve another problem of the same kind. So the next problem is find all the solutions of the equation x squared y double dash plus x y dash plus 4 y is equal to 1 for modulus of x greater than 0. Very importantly we have to observe that the modulus of this value is greater than 0 and so our solution should be for modulus of x. So first we shall find the solution and then we will replace it by modulus of x. In order to do that we have to first write the initial polynomial q of r which is equal to r into r minus 1 plus a r the value of a is equal to 1. So r plus b so plus the value of b is 4 so 4 so initial polynomial q of r should be equated to 0 so we get from this r squared minus r plus r plus 4 is equal to 0 and we observe that from this r square negative r and positive r gets cancelled plus 4 is equal to 0 and so uh, from this we get r square to be equal to negative 4 and the value of r will be equal to plus or minus square root of negative 4 and so therefore the value of r is equal to plus or minus 2i. So these are imaginary roots so plus or minus 2i is the value of r. So therefore the solution phi of x will be equal to c1 x to the power 2i. So x we have to write as modulus of x because in the question it is given as modulus of x greater than 0. So modulus of x to the power 2i plus c2 modulus of x to the power negative 2i. So this is the solution phi of x. Next we have to find the solution xi p of x that is the integral particular integral for l of y equal to 1. So let us see that now. So in the given question l of y is equal to 1. So comparing with l of y is equal to x power k we see that 1 can be written as x to the power 0 and so therefore the value of k is equal to 0. Now we have to check whether k equal to 0 is a root of this equation but it's not so because the roots of the equation were plus or minus 2i. So k equal to 0 is not a root. So k is not a root. So for this case the formula that we have learnt is given by so if you see here when k is not a root the particular integral is given by xi p of x equal to x power k divided by q of k. So let us write that. So the particular integral xi p of x is equal to x to the power k divided by q of k. So uh, what is q of r? Previously we have found q of r as uh, r square plus 4. So here we have r square plus 4 is q of r. So let us write that. So q of r is equal to r square plus 4. Now we have to find this is equal to x bar 0 which is 1 divided by q of 0. So we have to find q of 0 here which is equal to when we substitute 0 for r this term vanishes and we get q of 0 to be equal to 4. And so therefore this is equal to 1 by 4. So therefore the value of xi p of x is equal to 1 by 4. So we have found the particular integral. Now in order to find the general solution xi of x we have to add phi of x and xi p of x. So what is phi of x? We have obtained phi of x to be equal to c1 modulus of x to the power 2i plus c2 modulus of x to the power negative 2i plus xi p of x is 1 by 4. So whenever modulus of x is greater than 0 and c1 and c2 are constants. So this is the required solution xi of x for the given Euler's equation which is a non-homogeneous Euler's equation. Let's do one more problem on the same topic. So here we have the next question. Find all the solutions of x squared y double dash plus x y dash minus 4 pi y is equal to x for modulus of x greater than 0. So comparing this with the Euler's equation we get the value of a to be equal to 1, b as negative 4 pi and l of y is equal to x. So next we have to write the initial polynomial. So q of r is equal to 0. So it will be r into r minus 1 plus a r. So plus r plus uh, b. So minus 4 pi is equal to 0. And from this we get r square negative r plus r 
minus 4 pi is equal to 0 and this negative 4 and positive negative r and positive r gets cancelled and from this we obtain r square minus 4 pi is equal to 0 and so the value of r will be equal to I mean r square will be equal to 4 pi and hence the value of r will be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 pi and we see that the value of r is equal to plus or minus 2 square root of pi so this is the these are the roots that is r is equal to plus 2 root pi and minus 2 root pi so from this we can write the solution phi of x which is equal to c1 and because we they have given modulus of x as greater than 0 we can write this as modulus of x to the power 2 root pi plus c2 modulus of x to the power negative 2 root pi so next we have to find xi p of x for which we have seen that l of y is equal to x so we're comparing that with l of y is equal to uh, x power k and l of y that is is equal to x which is given we see that the value of k is equal to 1 so we, uh, we have to check whether this 1 is a root or not so when we see 1 is not a root so when 1 is not a root we have this that is when k is not a root the particular integral is given by x bar k divided by q of k and so we have xi p of x to be equal to x power k divided by q of k so first we shall find this q of k for which q of r is equal to this that is r square minus 4 pi so when we substitute k equal to 1 that is r equal to 1 here we get 1 square so 1 minus 4 pi so this is the value of q of 1 and k is equal to 1 and so this will be equal to x to the power 1 which is x divided by q of k that is q of 1 is 1 minus 4 pi so this is our particular integral now we have to substitute this and find the general solution uh, so we have to add phi of x plus xi p of x in order to get the general solution xi of x which is equal to this so that is equal to what is phi of x so let me write here so xi of x will be equal to uh, phi of x is this so c1 modulus of x to the power 2 square root of pi plus c2 modulus of x to the power negative 2 root pi plus the particular integral is this so x divided by 1 minus 4 pi so this is the required answer so hope you have understood all the three problems uh, all the three are non-homogeneous equation so uh, the previous question was also non-homogeneous uh, Euler's equation and so kindly follow the next video for one more problem on Euler's equation thank you